Hey everyone, it's Jack Brindley here back again with another episode of Prospect Peak. Today we are checking out linebacker Josie Jewell from the University of Iowa. Josie clocks in at 6'1", 235 pounds. A lot of people are saying, hey, his size is going to be an issue. I beg to disagree. I think he has a great instinct at the linebacker position and he fits in well at many schemes around the NFL. He's a field general. Some of his downside, in my opinion, is his lateral movement as well as east to west. Basically the same thing. Isn't the greatest, but I will attempt to co contradict that with a couple plays. Two games that we're going to looking at, looking at, be looking at today are the Wyoming game and the Ohio State. We're going to start with Ohio State at home for the University of Iowa. So here's Josie right here. He's going to drop back into coverage, tips the ball. I think he does a great job in coverage, especially with bumping into Ben Neiman over here. I think he did a great job moving back and getting a hand on that ball. So now we're going to take another look at some quarterback read on JT Barrett. Take a look right here. So Josie's right here. So he's got his eyes in the backfield, seeing what he's going to do. It's a read option play. Barrett keeps it. Josie slips off that block, moves up, gets him holding that first down for the Hawkeyes. Uh, for the Buckeyes, my bad. Uh, we're going to move up to three minutes, and we're going to take a look at a little bit more solid coverage, in my opinion, by Josie. So Josie's right here again. Going outside. Tax that man. And he's ready in case he uh, Barrett decides to make a check to his tight end, which is a rather large man. I believe he clocks in at around 6'4". So I don't believe size is an issue for Josie. It does affect him sometimes as these big 10 linemen do end up getting the best of him. But I think that he can make up for that with his pursuit, like I said earlier. We're going to look at another coverage real quick. So here's Josie again. A little bit more spread out, not where he usually is in the middle of the field. So Josie looks, reads, again, that tight end, really big guy. Now Josie doesn't let him get too much uh, separation and in all honesty handles this the best way that he can by just keep moving his feet and looking for if JT Barrett is going to pass that ball. We're going to look at it again from a different angle. Looks, keeps going, keeps going. And while, look at that size difference, he is admittedly smaller than most of these players, but he makes up for it. We're going to switch over to Wyoming. And take a look. So Josie's in the middle of the field. This is where he's the most comfortable. Now this is a sack that he had, so he did a good job, I'll run it back a little bit, picking up that flat route. Slips out, sees that option, doesn't let that happen. So now Josh Allen's going to run around, see if he can get it back, but who's there waiting for him? Josie Jewell, number 43, wraps him up, doesn't let him go anywhere, sack Iowa. He had 14 total tackles in this game. We're going to jump up to one last play before we sign out for the day. So Josie's in the middle of the field again. Most comfortable position. Now this is lateral movement that I like to contradict. He did a really good job moving down. The running back is traveling the field as is Josie. Tackles him. Halting that first down for the Cowboys. I think that Josie Jewell is an excellent prospect. I think that he will fall somewhere between the second and the fourth round. Uh, he has a potential to fall even further if his combine isn't that great. This has been another episode of Prospect Peak with yours truly, Jack Brindley. If you liked what you heard today and you and you want to leave a comment or a share with your friends or family, that would be amazing. This has been a Buffalo Fanatics production. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Buffalo Fanatics, all one word, and on Twitter at Buff Fanatics. Remember, diamonds are on the rough, but new money is actually found in Buffalo. Oh, Bill's baby.